Productions a guide for the best beaches in the city of San Diego. I'm Chris, a local from San Diego, California, and in this video I'm going to show you the best beaches. The best beaches in the sense of what they're best for. San Diego has a lot of beaches, they're really nice, but each one has its unique cool thing. So, in this video we're going to cover Ocean Beach, Mission Beach, Pacific Beach, the beaches of La Jolla, and we're going to conclude with Black's Beach, San Diego's unofficial nude beach. In this video I'm just going to give you the highlights of the beaches and the things they're best for. I've got separate videos on each of the beaches that's more informational, will give you more content if you're particularly interested in visiting that one. So, without further ado, we'll start with this beach, Ocean Beach. And Ocean Beach is the best beach for taking a walk on a pier. Ocean Beach has uh, California's and actually the West Coast's longest pier. The pier behind me uh, takes about five to ten minutes to walk down to the end. It's a really neat pier. It also makes it the best place to watch big waves because big waves will crash into the pier and there will always be a big group of people standing by the parking lot watching the waves crash. And because there's this pier, it's also the best place to watch people surf because you can get right above the action and watch the surfers from close up. Finally, Ocean Beach is also best for antiquing. Yes, you heard me right on Newport Avenue, which is Ocean Beach's main street. Uh, they have a number of antique shops, uh, which is neat if you're into that sort of thing. The best beach for wheeled activities is Mission Beach. Mission Beach has a huge boardwalk that runs from Mission Beach all the way up to Pacific Beach, which is really great for riding a bike, rollerblading, skateboarding, segways, anything on wheels. Mission Beach is also the best beach to ride a roller coaster. There is the historic roller coaster here in Mission Beach. It's a wooden roller coaster, lots of fun. Mission Beach is also the best beach for junk food. With Belmont Park, the outdoor amusement park fronting the beach, you can get corn dogs, cotton candy, everything that's the junk food to your heart's content. Next up, we have Pacific Beach. Pacific Beach is just to the north of Mission Beach, and it is San Diego's best beach for partying. And by partying, I mean enjoying an alcoholic beverage. Pacific Beach as a neighborhood has the most bars per square foot of any neighborhood in all of San Diego. One of the most famous drinking establishments in Pacific Beach is the Lahaina Beach House. Literally a house that's on the beach that has this crazy outdoor patio on it. Definitely an exciting place to come and enjoy your outdoor alcoholic beverage. If you like people watching, the best place in Pacific Beach is at Woody's Breakfast and Burgers. They've got this neat counter that you sit directly facing the boardwalk. Pro tip, if you find that to be too busy, they actually have a upstairs dining area right up here. No one's in it right now at all. Pacific Beach begins right where the boardwalk goes from being super wide to being super narrow. The whole boardwalk used to be narrow like this. It's been widened in Mission Beach, but it's pretty tight here in the PB side. In the summer, it's not a bad idea to walk your bike through this section. San Diego's best over-the-water hotel is located in Pacific Beach. Technically, it's San Diego's only over-water hotel, but Crystal Pier is home to 26 over-the-water bungalows. They're over-the-water when it's high tide. Not all of them are over-the-water all the time, but it's a very unique hotel to stay at. Make your reservations early, though. Summer weekends, they go 11 months ahead of time. The best beach for learning how to surf or kayaking is La Jolla Shores, this beach behind me. Uh, it is a very flat beach with very calm waves, and there's also a number of companies that rent surfboards here for beginners, which makes this an ideal place to learn how to surf or learn how to see kayak, because you can rent the kayaks here too and take them out to the caves of La Jolla. La Jolla Shores is also really great for tide pooling. Uh, when the tide is low, if you go to the south part of La Jolla Shores, right in front of the marine room, there are some really great rocks that get exposed. You can see um, starfish, sea urchins, all sorts of really neat creatures. There's also reasonably good tide pools to the north, uh, just past Scripps Pier, but those aren't quite as good as the ones to the south. 
we'll start with what is Black's Beach famous for? It's famous for two main things. One, big wave surfing. Black's Beach has some of the best big wave surfing in all of San Diego. And two, being a nude beach. Uh, Black's Beach is a unofficial nude beach, but you'll find many people that'll be nude and there's a section that people really don't get ticketed on if they decide to bear it all. So if you're in San Diego and you're looking for a beach that'll get you away from some of the hustle and bustle of the main beaches like Pacific Beach or Mission Beach, check out Black's Beach, really natural, you'll enjoy it. Uh, or come down here on big wave surfing days or you might be one of those that's interested for the clothing optional part. Whatever it is, I think you'll enjoy Black's Beach as long as you don't mind the hike down and the hike back up. It's really the hike back up that I think uh, will bother you more. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it every Sunday, then please subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, or you can click any of these other videos. Links are also in the description to see some of my other beach travel guides from San Diego. All right, bye-bye.